wanton waste of my life on those wild revels and wine-witted nights, the one refreshing memory to which I cling is the moment of my first meeting with Olga. Champagne? What does it taste like? I've never had any. Not unlike this. It was on the day she was wedded to a man she loathed that we both heard the whisper of temptation itself. I'd steal for you, Fadia. I'd do anything for you. I'd like to keep the pearls if you don't mind. I tried them around my neck and, oh, Fadia, they looked like angels' tears. Of all the women I have ever known, Nadina was the one who could have saved me from myself. Yet a strange force kept me from her. I didn't want to. I'm not myself. There's something in me, something strange that drives me on and on until... Fadia. Watching Olga's hold over other men, I knew that whoever associated with her was bound to fall under an evil spell. That her seductive powers were the very shadow of an impending doom, an appalling tragedy that none of us could escape. I'm beautiful. Men want me. You're proud, haughty. But you can't stay away from me, Fajor. Too weak. Jealous. <laughs> Her words beat through my tortured brain, goading me on to mad excesses until I sold my soul to protect a man who committed the most infamous of all crimes. Now, I must denounce him.